Gonna try something new on the uh, Blackstone today. Uh, should be pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna make a uh, just a little uh, bacon with onion and leeks and uh, good old fashioned vegetable medley. That's how we do it here. Never cooked leeks on the Blackstone before, so let's see how it goes. We're gonna do a little uh, shrimp with them and uh, mix it all together and uh, see how it goes. But you gotta wash them really well, especially in the center because they have sand. As usual, very simple. Just a couple of ingredients is all we need. That's it right there. Just gonna drop them right in. You want this on low heat. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of sesame seed oil. Salt. And a little bit of crushed red pepper. I like mine a little bit hot, so. I'm gonna probably keep adding a little bit of liquid as they dry. That's why you need to do it on low heat, very low heat. I'm trying not to fry the leeks. I don't wanna fry them. I don't wanna grill them. So I'm just keep adding liquid to them, kinda of let them steam almost. You know when they're done, when the green ones like these when they uh, are tender then the other ones are too you should probably take about seven minutes total to make so we'll come back in another couple minutes gonna add a little bit of vinegar to it just a couple drops just trying to let them cook through yeah, these do smell good though Still keep it on low heat. Just get it mixed together now. Let's add the shrimp. And I made some bacon earlier, so we're gonna do three strips for this mixture. Just heat them up and a little bit of olive oil. Just for the shrimp. A little bit of salt and a little bit of oregano. All right, I cut up the bacon. The shrimp is done. Now it's time to mix it all together. You know, I didn't even taste for salt. So let's see how it goes. We might have to add some in. Oh my gosh. That is unbelievably tasty. We're over here north of Salt Lake City, right on the Idaho border, in a place called uh, Doc Flats. I'm gonna stay a few days, maybe two more days, and then uh, head north and west to uh, Twin Falls, Idaho, to check out uh, Shoshone Falls. Have I told you that food always tastes better in nature? Good morning. I'll tell you what, things have changed. We're in the woods now. This is uh, extreme northern Utah, about 50 miles from Idaho. We're doing a, a hike right from camp. It's called the Box Elder Creek Trail. And so far, all uphill. It's really amazing what a difference it makes. I mean, I left the desert three hours of driving and we're back in the uh, Alpine region, mountainous, green, wet, cooler. We're at uh, 
I think 6,500 feet, 7,000, something like that. Above the snow line, as you can see, hopefully we can continue. Hopefully it ain't too bad. I'm not prepared to do any uh, snow hiking, snowshoeing. At least today I have pants on though. Brady thinks he's died and gone to heaven with uh, grass underneath his paws. Look at him. He's just working so hard. This is his element, of course. You know, German short hair pointer and border collie. We wanted to go right to the uh, to the BLM spot, but uh, we encountered a closed gate. Road closed. Literally not even a half mile away from the uh, from the flat area uh, because of snow just uh, it's impassable I walked it it uh, it's correctly closed officially uh, have my bear spray for the first time You know, it's bear spray, but it's also, it's also mountain lion spray, bobcat. Makes me feel like I have a little bit of protection anyway, should I get charged. There were reports just a few weeks ago of uh, a lot of snow is what they were saying. They had to turn back, so let's see what happens with our hike. It's definitely starting to get more snowy. So far, it's still passable without serious wetness to my socks, but my feet are cold, that's all. This stop marks the official start of uncharted territory. The trail is that way. So we have to try to figure out how to get through here without getting really, really soaked or sliding slipping in this mud maybe i'll follow my little man he looks like he's got it figured out already nope he doesn't like that way what do you think brady which way buddy we need to go over there i think i think you had the right idea buddy i think we need to go up and over we, we can't really cross that gotta be careful because it looks like this is solid snow But there's a creek right underneath this right here. See how it empties right there? So I gotta do a jump right here or else I'm gonna end up going right through. And it's about up to my waist or maybe more in my chest. This is, uh, this is pretty much all snow it looks like from here on out. So it's gonna be slow going. Pretty much committed to it, it's a loop. Could turn around but still doable. At this moment, I'm not sinking past my ankles. My main concern is sinking into a river, into a, one of these streams. And uh, just being real stuck for a while. I mean, you know, it's nothing that's going to endanger my life, but it will make me very uncomfortable for a while. But look how beautiful this is, though. Just got to follow the rules. Follow the rules of nature and you'll be okay. Got to cross here again. Trail goes that way. This is uh, sketchy, but uh, I think I can do it. I'm going to try to jump to that dry area right there without breaking this ledge right here and falling in and then just going right up but uh i gotta put the camera away
Oh man, slow going guys, slow going. The snow, it's less compact, so I'm sinking in a little bit more. You can see Brady is going in too. But, beautiful, about another mile. And then we turn the corner. 24 hours ago, I was in the desert looking at cacti. Sorry, we got this. Some snowshoes would be wonderful right now. Thank God I downloaded the map because there's just no way to tell. What's this? I'll remember this hike. You know why? Because it's meaningful. It's hard. It's new. My senses are elevated. My adrenaline's going to keep my feet, to keep the, the numbness from being frozen, my, my toes, cold, wet, soaked.